Uh, so the first thing you want to do in the glass shop is to turn on your propane tank. Next, you can light your flame. Then you can come over to your oxygen tank. And then add oxygen to the propane to help it combust at a hotter temperature. First, we're going to attach a large section of tubing to a smaller blow tube in order to spin it and work with it easier. The larger tubing hole has to be restricted in order to match the diameter of the blow tube. After attaching the larger section of tubing to the blow tube at melting point, remove from the flame and straighten. Next we will flame rip a 5 inch section of the larger tubing which we will be making the piece out of. After flame ripping the larger tubing to the desired length, we will apply a sterling silver fuming on the surface of the glass to give it a mirror-like finish. Next, we will spin a thin stringer of blue color on each end of the larger tube. After you have applied these thin lines of color, heat the entire tube to make sure your lines will stick to the glass you've applied. Then we will fill in the middle section with a thin stringer of red coloring. You will notice the red stringer I laid down in the middle turns clear when heated. It is called a striking color and will return to red as it cools. Next, we will use a 3 millimeter clear rod to rake downwards through the color to create the pattern. Continue this process around the rest of the large tube. Next, we'll heat the section closest to the blow tube to create a mouthpiece. Once the mouthpiece section is molten hot, Blow gently into shape. Next, we will heat the middle red section to stretch it into shape. A small puff of air may be necessary to expand the glass. We will heat the bowl section to blow it out and get the round shape we are looking for. While expanding the glass, remember to blow gently. Now it's time to pop the bowl. To do this successfully, you must heat one side of the bulb and gently blow through the tube until it pops open.
After that, we will heat around the hole we just popped. To create the bowl, just before molten state, we will use a graphite bowl push and press down on the hole. While we were working on the bowl, the mouthpiece was cooling. It is a good idea to put it back in the kiln to reheat the whole piece at this time. It may be necessary after kilning to wipe off kiln dust. After a few minutes of kilning, we will heat and press the bottom so the pipe sits flat. Now we will make the carb. We will do this by blowing through the tube and heating one side until it pops. We will finish this pipe by removing the blow tube. In order to do this, grab the head of the pipe with the claw grabbers and melt off the blow tube. You will notice the mouthpiece is now closed. We will reopen the mouthpiece by dragging off excess glass until it is reopened. While the mouthpiece is still hot, we will use a round reamer to make sure the mouthpiece has a circular shape. Lastly, we will kiln the pipe for a minimum of 15 minutes at 1000 degrees to ensure durability. Once the pipe is cool, remove from kiln and enjoy your favorite tobacco.